Your Excellency, Mr. President, established a Presidential Health Reform Committee to develop a health sector reform program for Nigeria in close collaboration with state governments and federal capital territory administration. Membership included the Honorable Ministers of Health, a governor representing the Nigerian Governors Forum, chairman of the Senate Committee on Health, heads of relevant government agencies, state commissioners of health, private sector experts, and representatives of international development agencies. To ensure wide and inclusive consultations, several other sector experts who could add value to the process were also cooperative. The committee received memoranda from members of the, gen of the public. We also took extensive proposals from committee members and the organizations that they represent, including the National Assembly, state governors, unions in the health sector, and the private sector. This was followed by a, a retreat to brainstorm on several policy options, which arose from the submissions. Finally, we held several meetings in technical subcommittees and in plenary to streamline the contentious issues and agree a consensus position with the assistance of consultants, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who are engaged to support the committee. We thank Mr. President for giving the committee this historic task. Our deliberations have been especially productive, and this has afforded us the much needed opportunity to set Nigeria on the path to universal health coverage. The committee is mindful that investing in health will enable our country to unlock its immense potentials and ensure that all Nigerians, regardless of their social status, can access quality health services. However, we also realize that this would require structural reforms, hence the intentional effort to cover the poor and ensure the mobilization of large amounts of private investment. One of the first insights that confronted the committee was how the structure of our, of our federation unwittingly contributes to poor health outcomes. The report addresses this in three ways. First is the use of national accountability agreements on health performance. Second is the proposal for a national partnership agreement on health sector reform recommendations to be signed by all states and the FCT. Third is the strengthening of institutional arrangements for pandemic preparedness and response. This, institutional, this strengthening of institutional arrangements will be a national arrangement. Mr. President, achieving universal health coverage for Nigerians is really the essence of this report. This is to be realized through the prioritization of government spending on health and boosting of per capita per capita health expenditure by scaling up the national health insurance system as the preferred public financing arrangement. This approach is one where the national or state health insurance authorities would benefit from the general budget transfers from the relevant federal or state governments. The report therefore recommends health care guarantees for all Nigerians registered on the national social register currently 12 million registered households, equivalent to about 55 million individual Nigerians. The report further recommends that the share of total health expenditure flowing through our health insurance schemes must be more than 10%. The committee is fully aware of the governance and institutional arrangements of a reform program. We have proposed a number of institutional changes including the establishment of the National Tertiary Health Institutions Commission, whose function will be similar to the National Universities Commission and the National Quality and Healthcare Standards Commission. In view of obvious funding constraints, the committee hesitated to recommend new institutions. However, on the balance, we agreed that for us to make progress with our human capital agenda, these institutions were essential. Other recommendations vary from human resource in health, issues such as brain drain to the expansion of access to primary health care services, medical tourism, and mobilization or leveraging private capital for health investments, as well as their role in expanding the supply of health workers for Nigeria in the medium 
and long term. Finally, this report recommends that vaccine manufacturing in Nigeria should be seen from the perspective of, of a national health security, of a national health security imperative, rather than purely as a commodity production. Mr. President, we do not have any illusions that these reforms are easy to implement. Beyond the financing requirements, there will be a need for global expertise and collaboration. In this regard, local and international development partners will be much needed. For this and other purposes, we have proposed the setting up of a program delivery unit in the office of the President. This independent but empowered unit would monitor and drive the reforms. An important part of the report are the draft National Health Amendment Bill and the draft amendments of other relevant bills. Mr. President, while it is our duty to prepare this comprehensive roadmap towards universal health care in Nigeria, it has become the responsibility of the incoming administration to take this journey to its much desired destination. And we wish them well in that patriotic enterprise. Again, we thank you, sir, for this opportunity. And on behalf of the Presidential Health Reform Committee, it is my special pleasure and privilege to present to you, sir, the health reform report and draft bills. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Please, that those mentioned, Thank you. Thank you very much.